So you got the creative team front and center. Oh wow! Oh Eric Larson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just said January. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And we appreciate you, however, whenever you're watching this, because we already know time is expensive. Hello, and thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, welcome to another episode of Creativity on Sheath. I'm Oliver Seawood. And I'm Nino. And yes, we are brothers. Yes, we are. And uh, this is the show where we feel. If you find something that you're good at, Try to be the best at it. For sure. That, that's that's a given. It may be hard, but look into yourself. And uh, speaking of uh, knowing what you're best at, what we're looking in today is Wolverine 145. 145. And uh, it is the uh, 25th Giant Size Anniversary Birthday Special. And you got the cover by Lineal U. Lineal um, U. And um, he's... Uh, He's, he has to be up there with Los Potasio. Like, yeah. As far as one like the like, awesome Filipino like artists in, yeah. our, in our generation, yeah. you know, because he mentored him, yeah. Yeah, he found him. <laughs> so oh, he man, found him, mentored him. <clears throat> he got him, he, like able to like just get his feet wet and like get him in the Marvel, uh, in the Marvel doors. And man, that's crazy. <laughs> what if we found him like Arnold Pineda on YouTube? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and then he called him like, hey, you want to work at? Uh, uh. You know, whatever. <laughs> right, man. It's like <laughs> I, 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 I would love to like my like find that out. So Wills was a mentor to Lenny of you. Yeah, and you found him, and they was able to help him break in and yeah, did a little um, work. Mm -hmm. And uh, what inks or like pencils first? I'm not too sure, but um. There was a book he first started. It was I think it was something Aster, Aster Form, Aster Star. One of the, I, I, something within those lines. But mm -hmm. that was like his first book ever. And then he hopped on and Wolverine, and then from there he just worked up the ranks. And mm -hmm. the story is written by Eric Larson, and of course Lin Yu threw down the the pencils for this, and that looks fucking awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Like little homage to Incredible Hulk. Um, Number three forty. 340, right, with uh, Tom McFarlane. On the cover with the, with the blades. And Hulk in the, you know, on the image. So yeah, yeah. Almost, <laughs> like, almost dead on, but, you know, with his own, with lineal, with his own, with his own flavor. And, you know, ever since, I only knew about him when uh, when we got back into comics around uh, 05, 08. Yes, right? yes. When um, <clears throat> the Ultimate Lines came out. Ultimate lines, and he did that Ultimate uh, Hulk versus Wolverine. Yeah. So he did that retelling, yeah. and uh, man, Secret Invasion, right? Yeah, that that being his big, yeah. right, big event book, and yeah. from there he just kind of been that it guy, and yeah. working with Mark Millar doing Superior, uh, Super Crooks, man. and and Mark Millar hooking them up pretty well, you know, make, yeah. after Mark Millar make those deals with Netflix. So, so, so Lenio's good, he's sitting pretty. I think now he's just doing doing covers. Last thing I think he did was a uh, Captain America book yeah. with, uh, oh uh, yeah, uh, Takeshi Coates. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah, I mean, that was a weird story because it has it's Captain America and Nuke, or an army of Nuke. But yeah, anyways. Mm. But yeah, I mean, it's cool to say he's like, he's like one of the great Filipino artists up there with Tony uh, Desenaiga and Alcala, you know. Alcala, Alcala, you know um, and it's kind of cool, like thinking about like how Wills did a line of X Factor and X Men, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then now Lineal, he did his own line, Secret Invasion. Like for a Filipino artist to have his own type of line. Yeah, man, that, it's being like, the, the headline artist. And it's really, I, I feel like it's really overshadowed and it's like barely even talked about. But that, you know, that, that, go, that goes for every artist that's like been overlooked, mm -hmm. you know, like Danny Smith, you know. But yeah, let's, let's, let's look into this. Let's do it. Oh, what a waste of a double page spread. Oh man. Like the fold out. You, you figured like it would be a cool... His other, his other arm, right? <laughs> his other claw, but it's this guy. Like, what is that? Right. I don't want to buy that. Whatever. 
or who it is. Right. So you got the creative team front and center. Oh wow! Oh Eric Larson. Yeah. I just said <laughs> 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 Script. So. Oh, hey, nice. It scrolls. Call me Bill if you, if you watch Secret Invasion. We've uh, heard a lot of uh, bad stuff lately. Totally. But if you guys think otherwise, comment below. We don't have Disney Plus. Mixed reviews. That's kind of cool though, huh? Scroll in the X-Men universe. It's like, if you look at the Secret Invasion, he, it felt like he found his uh, his, his definitive look of how to draw. Mm. Like, and he has look for all of his characters now. Right, like, like being on deadline style, yeah. right? So like now, he's like really comfortable, I feel. Because it's like really strong stuff, man. I mean, for something that came out in 1988, you know, early 90s, late 80s type things, like whoever's finding Wolverine for the first time, it's like mm. you're getting the fresh eye or fresh look design of uh, yeah, totally you know, Wolverine, man. Yeah. It's like other than Jim Lee, it's like and Andy Kubert laying down the, the like, foundation for Wolverine after Jim left. It's like... Yeah. He, 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 totally, he really likes the character. Mm -hmm. So this is death. It's just like a little. It's kind of a weird story because we. I mean, we don't have the issues that lead up before this. But I mean, like for the anniversary special, I mean, it's like so far, like two people trying to get Wolverine. So, and then being the unstoppable, one of them is being the unstoppable Hulk. Mm. And then um, you, get, you get another one behind a murder looking to add uh, Logan or Wolverine to that mix. Mm. So I don't know how Death or if that's even Logan himself being, mm. being hypnotized or mind mm. wiped by something, you know? Almost the like Ninja Spawn, huh? Almost, yeah. Yeah. Close. So yeah, the story is a little confusing. I mean, still knowing what lead, led up to it, but I, I like this. this. I like. To, I wanted to see this show. I only saw this one. I didn't see this one here. Mm. It's not the Mighty Avengers, but it's be cool. West Coast. Yeah, I kind of fell off because I was just so used to the first series. Mm. Man. Look at his textures. Yeah, man, he still does that today. That's cool. Yeah. You remind me a little bit of Mobius, yeah. Mobius, a little bit of Frank Quantity. Mm -hmm. It's like even uh Wills would do this to too. So even I think with even image or just being homage in Wildstorm, it's mm -hmm. like they're gonna add those that little edge to it. This reminds me of uh Mr. Dylan. Rest in peace. Like um, the way right here. Steve Dillon's uh, yeah. Wolverine. Yeah, oh, Steve yeah. Dillon Wolverine. It took me a while to get used to Steve Dillon's art on Wolverine. Dinosaur. I remember you and I watched this. You took me to watch this. <laughs> oh man. You got uh, like the exclusive uh, Mewtwo card. Oh along man. With it. I forgot what theater that was. It was behind the Stone Sounds Mall. Oh, okay. I don't know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if uh, it's yeah, a UA. Yeah, UA. I don't know. If, obviously, the tour down, but there is a new, new movie theater there now. Wow, man, that's crazy. That's see, that's a good old. Right before he did the ultimate one. Yeah, man. That's a that's a that's a that's a good use of a double page spread, though. Yeah, let us know if you guys have that issue. The wow. ultimate. X Men, uh, Ultimate and Hulk and Wolverine. So, basically, that had scheduled issues, but they got it done. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Man. Wow, yeah, so that's a good ass Hulk. Yeah. That's badass. It's like it's. Yeah, I like 
like I like the face. It's like it's still his. Like it's his. You know what I mean? It's like uh -huh. you won't see any other artists. Hey, my comic. Yeah, and this is under in the at the end of a cartoon mm -hmm. episode. <laughs> And comment below if you guys use this service. Yeah. Let us know what you think. To grade your own comics and or buy. We don't grade them though. No, no we, like, we, we, like don't. To, we like to open it. Yeah, we like to read them all. Get the grease all there. And we want to look at the old ads. <laughs> smell it. We want to smell it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's definitely the image influence. You know, the one three, one two three beat. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess depending on uh, depending on the scene, yeah. you know, it seems like you you pace it well. It's like one, two, three. Yeah, five. It's like almost like a cinematic type of wide view. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's how they draw huh, on the upshot. As far as his uh, mask. Mm. It's cool. Oh, that's cool. It's a good saber, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Dexter Vines threw down the inks, huh? Yeah, I mean, it would be cool. I mean, I, I don't know Dexter Vine's work on any other thing other than this, so... I mean, just seeing Lionel's work, it's like, uh... Lionel Lino, it's like, however you see his work, it's like... His pencil is pretty straightforward. You know, you know like, it's nothing too... Drastic of a, a decision to how much ink to apply, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like he's staying true to every... Every crosshatch, you know? Every feathered line, yeah, even to cool. the smallest etching. So it's like, yeah, oh, pencils, good pencils, dude. You really, can tell off pencils. Hell yeah, it's really. I, I don't think he ever goes this. I mean, well, I think now he does, but for covered, yeah. Yeah, mm. but for now, like for this, so like you can definitely tell his pencils. It's awesome. Uh, strong stuff. Wow, so it's as if it's Wolverine and Hulk again. Mm -hmm. See, I wonder if uh, if uh, Lino knew uh, Jerry uh, Alan Guillen uh, during this time, because he was normally his uh, his go-to inker, mm -hmm. like for like for for, for so, most of his stuff. Yeah, rest in peace, Jerry. Yeah, rest in peace, Jerry. So it means like, yeah, it'd be cool to see Jerry on like early Wolverine stuff. So two battles going on the scene. Oh, man, it's a badass. Man. Honestly, for me, I love Wolverine. Like, it looks better in the brown and yellow suit. Yeah. It suits him. I agree. It suits the character, Wolverine character. I think nothing, blue, nothing against Jim. Jim is blue and yellow. For yeah, yeah. Outfit, but yeah. Or maybe that wasn't his choice of color, but. I like this one. It just gives him more of that that uh, that woodsy, yeah, animalistic yeah. look. Yeah, right. More more uh, stealth. Right, because you know? what Wolverine do have brown fur. Mm -hmm. Those are some nice glutes. Mm. You must work out. <laughs> <laughs> Want to watch the cartoon now? For real. Oh. Man, I still need to find that Richard. But I thought he gone. Or he got a he got a showcase in that one, right? Yeah, how to draw Wolverine. How he draws his Wolverine. Oh man, that's pretty cool. That's a cool silhouette and sequence. I'm, yeah, and I'm yeah. pretty sure it's like it was after this. Cause it looked like the same cover of the Wizard. They used it, right? Yeah. They repurposed uh, the cover. Then it, it shows how he draws his Wolverine. 
text. I mean, we do we do have uh, the How to Draw Wizard magazine in that segment. I don't know if it's the same segment, but it's in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe Lina, that's yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah Lena has a segment in there. So I mean, uh, we'll leave a link down below if you haven't seen that uh, Wizard video that we did, How to Draw. Ooh, see, look, his original mask. Oh, I mean, for, if, at first it looked weird, but I'm just trying to like it. Ooh, imagine if they did a brown and orange version of that. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's awesome. His signature, Mr. Lineal. Wait, so he's deaf. And then he's fighting Sabretooth at the same time. Mm. Like, yeah. so it's like a consciousness of split personality. Yeah. And different realm type thing going on. Like yeah. a bloodline, maybe. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a weird story. Again, like, we're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> like, how is this all happening? Like, oh, yeah, like two, three years later, two, three years later from now, hmm. you want to do Wolverine Hulk. Yeah, Ultimate. Man. Another precursor to so, yeah, they right. probably saw this later. You want to do a retelling, right? And for the Ultimate Universe, because uh, during the the Quesada one. Yeah, and we might do that. I don't know if we did. But. Quesada era. Reintroduce this uh, the origin. It's awesome. Man, it's like you really know it's, it's his own signature. Like I really don't see. Any other artist is Hulk in this. I mean, uh, uh, Wills never touched Hulk. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jim Lee barely touched Hulk, I think. Oh, so, no, not even. So to get an influence somewhere, I don't know who. But, man, it's like really, man, it's just really, you know, that's his own touch. It's awesome. I really want to get this storyline, the trade or whatever. Age of Apocalypse? Yeah. yeah. I want to get I want to read it. It's like, it feels like a... Uh, yeah, that's one over here. Alright. Under cutting edge. <laughs> snake snake, y'all. That's Wolverine 145 for y'all. 25th anniversary issue. Yeah, so if you guys are a fan of Wolverine and It's a little weird story, but it's 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 as if it's like the origin of Hulk and Wolverine. Yeah. But on another universe and realm. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's <clears> cool <throat> to see um, Eric Larson's writing chops. Maybe writing is not his strong suit. Yeah. I don't know. I agree. But, or I mean, maybe not that character. Maybe just yeah. for the Savage Dragon. I mean, yeah. It, yeah, I haven't read uh, so much of his Savage Dragon for me to say. But I mean, just off of this, again, we haven't read issues prior to this so we can't really get a good sense of the story but it's a little confusing under how there's two wolverines playing out or yeah. so maybe it's like a split world you multiverse type thing yeah but i mean again if you guys are eric larson fan wolverine fan or and now you're leno you fan please add this to your collection whatever bin you find it in yeah or if you see that my comic shop if you guys get it from there or however support him now support was him. this lineal's first wolverine no no, no. Uh, he started like in the 120s i believe oh, okay yeah okay. so, so he, he was getting there then yeah so yeah. It, like he looked like he was really getting comfortable with drawing wolverine yeah. which you know which led up to ultimate wolverine Hell yeah. hulk mm -hmm. you know so um, I would like to get that run at least just to see that uh, you know his process. Mm -hmm. But it's like he, he, he can definitely see like he was comfortable now. It's totally yeah. cool. So yeah, pick it up, guys. Pick it up if you ever find it. This is like really iconic, I think. It's a pretty cool cover. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna end this segment with a motivational quote for y'all. And uh, this one is by Johan von Harder. And he's a literary critic and philosopher. And he states, nobody can contribute to the best of humanity who does not make the best out of himself. Ooh. 
and that goes well yeah. with Wolverine. You know, he what's that saying that Chris Claremont created? Uh, he's the best there is at what he does. Right, and um, I mean, just out of what the 25th anniversary, his birthday, every issue here, it's like, you know, it kind of just proven that. And yeah. up to this day, everyone knows X Men because of Wolverine. Yeah. You know. He didn't have the first X Men movie without having Wolverine or yeah. Hugh Jackman, and it's like it's like the other reason they actually put him in the first movie. Yeah, so you know it's like X Men is X Men, but it's like people don't know it without Wolverine mm -hmm. and the fan favorite. But you know it's cool to see the new views touch on this and kind of give a fresh take, a fresh eyes of not just Jim Lee's Wolverine. Yeah, you know I mean it's always like getting the, the shine. Yeah. You know? But, you know, sure. but for the, you know, for Wolverine and for you guys, you know, if he knows what he's best at. He always, you know, did his 100% best at it. And, you know, that goes for the same for y'all. I mean, like, you know what you're good at, you know. And that's cool. I appreciate that he didn't try to draw a house style. Right, right. Like, he, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure maybe in the beginning, just yeah. to get his feet wet, get warmed up. And mm -hmm. then, but now, like, again, in this one, it seemed like he it was cool. His, uh, his own world. Yeah. I right, really found that real comfortability with found uh, his rhythm, his style, mm -hmm. especially. And now it's like it's, it's recognizable, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. So if you guys, you guys know what you're good at, we don't know you. We're not professionals at or experts at anything. We're just here sharing the light with y'all. Knowing, we, uh, you know, liking what we like and yeah. hope yeah. you like it too. Right. And, you know, we're all in this same journey together and sharing the passions for the love of the medium. Yeah. You know, so, you know, stay creative. Tell your story, you know. Stay independent, have a voice. Yeah, you know, be good, stay good. Do good. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Hell yeah.